Alright guys, uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to retexture your models from scratch. Um, well, not like complete from scratch. Obviously, I don't make assets and what's not, but just off of the base textures. Now, uh, this video is starting from the assumption that you actually have your ba model base already. If need be, I can make a video on how to decompile, but that shouldn't be as prevalent of an issue as I know the main issue people have is with porting your model over to Gary's mod. So you're going to come over here to Blender and if you don't already you should get Blender Source Tools. Uh, just look it up. I can get a link in the description below and what's not. And Blender Source Tools allows you to import SMDs. So you come down here, import SMD. So it opens up all your folders and I'm going to be using a edited TC12 base by Shijan today. Uh, uh, it is for me under retexturing models, update TC different base, and you click on this pack for me. Now, what you do is you go to the models folder. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of lagging here a little bit. Okay, there he goes. So, from here, you have all your SMDs, which these are the assets that you're going to be retexturing. You have your basic textures and what's not. And you just got to find the one that you think works the best. Now, I am going to be making just a normal trooper. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go all the way down here to trooper.qc. I'm just going to load that up. It's going to take a little bit to load just because it's loading a lot of assets right now. Don't worry if it says not responding like it does up here. It'll fix it. Okay, here it is. So... As you can see, it looks like a blob. So I'm going to select this and I'm just going to tap delete. Um, doing that has removed the physics from the actual SMD. So if I were to try to use this, it wouldn't work. But luckily, you're not using this for anything other than actually painting on in Substance Painter. So you can delete the physics, you're allowed to. I'm going to hide the uh, helmet and then I'm going to delete everything up here, including the head. Um, because the head's a flat texture but I don't plan on editing. And then I'm going to show the helmet again. So the helmet's back, uh, as you can see. So, I have everything I need. Everything working just fine. Uh, so what I do from here is I go to File, Export, Wavefront OBJ, and then you put it anywhere you want. It doesn't exactly matter. I like to be more organized, so I actually put it in here. I like phase two, John base. And we're just gonna call it trooper.obj. Okay, export it. All right, it's exported. And so now you can come over here in Substance Painter, which you should probably have loaded up a little bit early. File, new. And I'm actually gonna up my document resolution to 2048. Uh, this is a template I use, PBR Metallic Roughness. Select. And now you just find that OBJ file, uh, which is actually in this folder for me. These two models. Trooper. And you hit okay. And there you have it. Your OBJ is in here. Um, it looks all white, so you gotta add the textures. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you next time.